Have you ever found yourself spending hours on an app without realizing it? There's actually scientific design methodology hidden behind this experience. Today, we'll uncover the science of how mobile apps use game elements to capture user attention and keep people engaged. Currently, there are over 5 million apps in app stores, and competition is fierce. Surprisingly, 95% of these apps are offered for free. So how do app developers make money? The answer is user engagement. Everything depends on users continuously using the app, whether it's in app advertising, purchases, or data collection. But here's the big problem. Only 27.6% of users return to an app the day after downloading it. After two weeks, that number drops to just 11.4%. To solve this challenge, developers are turning to something called gamification. This involves incorporating game elements like levels, points, and badges into non-game apps. In fact, about half of the top 15 most popular apps in America use gamification, including TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Shine, and Snapchat. The global gamification market was worth $9.1 billion in 2020 and is projected to reach $30.7 billion by 2025. But does gamification actually work? The study I'm sharing today analyzed detailed app usage data from nearly 19,000 users over an entire year. What makes this research groundbreaking is that it's the first to scientifically examine a hybrid reward system. That combines traditional monetary rewards like coupons and discounts, with game rewards like leveling up and earning badges. The researchers conducted their experiment using a market research app. Users could answer fun questions to earn game rewards and complete client surveys to receive monetary rewards. The results were remarkable. 1. Game rewards dramatically boost engagement. Game rewards significantly increased user engagement compared to monetary rewards alone, which also increased the app's business value. The effect was especially powerful when users were close to earning both types of rewards simultaneously. It created a synergistic motivational boost. 2. Gamification has a dark side. However, they discovered something concerning. When users became deeply immersed in the game and entered what's called a flow state, their game engagement became less likely to translate into business valuable activities like answering surveys. Flow state refers to a state of complete absorption and high concentration in gaming. In this state, users become so focused on the game that they lose awareness of everything else. They get so caught up in gaming that they forget to answer surveys. This suggests that gamification can be a double-edged sword for companies. The study also calculated the economic impact. For a user base of 100,000 people, free game rewards generated approximately 6,400 in additional revenue. Meanwhile, monetary rewards costing 6300 were expected to generate only about 5600 in additional revenue. Free game rewards proved more effective than costly monetary rewards. This research provides important insights for mobile app reward design. Adopt hybrid reward systems, combining game rewards with monetary rewards can maximize user engagement. Manage reward timing, it's important to avoid giving both types of rewards simultaneously, and instead create time gaps between them. Control flow states, valuable activities like ad viewing should be presented early, before users enter flow states. Cost effectiveness of game rewards, free game rewards are often more effective than paid monetary rewards. Gamification is a powerful, scientifically backed user engagement strategy. However, to maximize its effectiveness, it's essential to understand the psychological mechanisms and design them properly. Next time you use an app, try to notice how these scientific design techniques are working on you. And for developers out there, focus on creating designs that provide valuable experiences for users while achieving your business goals. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll be back next time with more fascinating research.